Sonoma County has now hit more daily COVID infections than at any other point during this pandemic, and the county held a coronavirus update today. It was designed to inform residents about testing kits that are on the way and some changes to county health orders. Crown Forest Taylor Pisaki has the latest. Our cases uh, in Sonoma County have nearly tripled in the past few weeks, as has our positivity rate. Um, in early December, we were averaging less than 40 cases a day. Uh, now we're seeing 200 to 300 per day. Coronavirus cases continue to rise in Sonoma County, reaching peaks higher than previous surges during this pandemic. However, hospitalizations remain low with the help of vaccinations. Data pulled by the county displays the difference vaccinations make. We find that people who are unvaccinated are still four times more likely to be infected with COVID-19, 17.1 times more likely to be hospitalized, and 14.1 times more likely to die of COVID-19 related illnesses. County leaders say its most recent COVID related death was last month. A man over the age of 60 with underlying conditions and was not vaccinated. While hospitalizations are rare with the Omicron variant, hospitals are still being strained due to staff shortages. Hospitals and clinics are struggling with staff shortages due to illness or the need to follow COVID protocols due to, due to staff testing positive. To prevent further spread, county leaders are reminding people that masks are now required in all public indoor spaces, regardless of vaccination status. Hospital employees and emergency responders are also required to get boosted by February 1st if eligible or test twice per week. At this time, finding tests or appointments are also harder. That's why the county's been holding testing clinics at schools this week and next, sharing good news that more testing kits are on the way. Yesterday, Sonoma County Office of Education received 67,000 boxes of tests. Uh, two tests each, and today they're going out to schools and school districts. I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting Cron 4 News.